What's going on streamers? Today I'm going to show you how to monitor the audio sources that you have on your stream at a different volume level than your stream would hear. We'll be doing this entire setup within OBS and that means you won't have to download a single application like Voice Speeder. Let's do it. I made a video recently introducing you guys to a new plugin in a way it can be used similarly to voice meter. And for many of you, this plugin has completely replaced voice meter. One of the larger issues people were having with this setup is the ability to monitor the volume of audio sources on your stream at a different volume level for yourself. For instance, a lot of streamers monitor their music audio at a lower volume than what the stream would hear. So with that issue, many streamers were unable to replace voice meter because one of the biggest reasons they use voice meter is to monitor the volume levels at a different audio level. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up two plugins, not only the audio capture plugin that I showed you in that previous video, but a plugin called the audio monitor plugin. Using these two plugins together, you'll be able to separate the audio sources and monitor them at a different audio level. The two plugins that you need to download for this setup tutorial are linked in the description below. After you install those plugins, the setup is fairly simple. I will walk you through the setup of both plugins so that you don't have to watch a different video. So let's jump right into this one. After you have the plugins installed, we're going to set up every single audio source that you're going to have on your stream. Now this is a little bit different than voice meter because with this Windows Audio Capture plugin, you're going to have to capture specific applications on your computer. So that means you're going to have to set up a source for every video game that you're going to play on your stream. And if you end up switching to a different video game and you don't have a source created, you're going to have to switch that source over to the new video game. So let me show you what I'm talking about. What we're going to do on the sources window here is hit the plus button and instead of capturing an audio input and or an audio output capture what we're going to do is application audio output capture from here we can add in whatever application we're going to be capturing in this case i'm just going to do music and click OK. The first thing we're going to do is change the window over to the music application that we have. For me, it's going to be YouTube Music Desktop App.exe. And when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure the application is open on your computer in order for it to recognize that application exists. The next thing we're going to do is make sure the window match priority is set to match title, otherwise find window of same executable. The reason this is important is because when this plugin is looking for the audio source that is selected, it will either find the title of the audio source, which you're gonna find here, like Google search, Creative Cloud Desktop, so on and so forth, or the same executable, which is the application file. Um, for instance, here it, it says YouTube Music Desktop app dot exe that is the executable so if it doesn't find the title which it most likely won't it will match the executable file which is that youtube desktop app meaning it will capture that source every time we're streaming because that is the application source now that we have that set up you should see the music source set up in your audio mixer from there what we can do is click the settings wheel we're going to go to filters and in our filters, we're going to hit the plus button and add a audio monitor filter. From here, we're going to select the device that we want to monitor this source on. So we'll switch this device over to my speakers, which is where I have my headphones set up. And then you can set the volume that you want the audio to be monitored at. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Now I'm ready to test this. I'm going to open up my music app. I'm going to play some DMCA free music. I'm going to head over to OBS. I can verify that I'm listening and monitoring this audio source. What I'm going to do is go into the filters and I'm going to adjust the volume level. I can verify that that is turning down the volume in my headphones. Can't can barely hear it now. Um, and now I can't hear it at all. So fantastic, fantastic stuff.
Now you may have noticed that the volume of the music didn't change when I was adjusting that volume slider for the filter on my music. Now the reason that is is because the volume for the stream is controlled here in the audio mixer with this volume slider. The filter, the audio monitor filter, is where you control the volume for what you're going to be listening to yourself. Now you might be asking yourself, how do you play audio on your desktop where you don't hear it yourself from the desktop default source and also the audio monitor source from OBS? And it's actually quite simple. When you go to stream, what you need to do is the following steps. The first step is to obviously open OBS when you go to stream, and then we're going to turn down or mute our playback device on our computer. So the easiest way to do this, if you don't have voice meter installed and all your audio sources separated, all you got to do is click this speaker icon here and slide this volume slider all the way down. After you've done that, you can go into OBS and toggle on the audio monitor filter for the sources that you need to hear yourself, whether that's game audio, communication audio, music audio, or any of the above. We're gonna go ahead and test this and verify that it's working. So first thing I'm gonna do here is turn off the audio monitor plugin. I'm going to unmute this source. I'm gonna play some DMCA free music here. I need to turn down that source because it's loud AF. So you guys can hear this music right now. I can't hear it in my headphones because I don't have that audio monitor filter set up. Now what I'm gonna do in the filters is toggle this on and I'm, I now can hear the music audio and I can adjust the volume with this slider. That should be everything you need in order to set up these two plugins to monitor the volume of your audio sources on your stream at a different volume level. You'll want to make sure you go through and add every single audio source. In this video, I only set up the music audio source to keep the tutorial short and easy to watch. You should then go through and add every source that you're going to have on your stream. If you need help with that, you can either join in my Discord server, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer those questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.